Hello, it's Chris, back with some Java OpenGL tutorials. And today, or well, where we left off, we had created the player class and managed to render, render him and move him around. And if we run, I have actually disabled the vSync and added an FPS counter just to show you how slow everything is. It's running at about 3000 fps, well, give or take, you know, and it's really slow, um, and that's because, you know, we render it like this, this is slow, the rendering like this is really slow, we shouldn't do that, we should use something called vertex arrays, now, what ver vertex arrays does is pretty much removes the amount of uh, draw calls that you have to do. Um, you can read, read up more about those if you want to know more than what they actually do. Um, to be honest, in this case, I don't think it would you know, improve the performance that much, but it certainly does when you start moving on towards 3D. So I'm just gonna cover it in 2D here for you. Alright, so we need um, two float buffers that will contain our vert vertices. <coughs> and ver vertex coordinates, I should say, because we need to specify an x and y value for each vertex. So x, y values, that's 2 times 4 four vertices. That's the amount the, that's the size of our buffer. Right? And then we do the same for texture coordinates. We have an S and T value to specify times four for each ver vertex. So that's two times four. Alright? So verts dot put a new float buffer no float array sorry and here we will pretty much just uh, input the default you know the default coordinate surrender a a square that is 32 pixels wide so if we go down here we see that we first for the first vertice we specify zero zero and then the width which is 32 and then the width and height and then the height so I'm gonna do that so 0 0 32 0 32 32 and 0 32 all right then for the texture coordinates Specify zero zero one zero one one and zero one. So all right. So that's our texture coordinates. That's done. Now we can actually remove this ugly, slow code and get on onwards using vertex trace. So in order to be able to use them, we need to enable them. So we all enable client states.
scale or ver ver vertices and texture coordinates. So gl 11gl vertex pointer. The size is two stride, you know, zero. I don't really know what that is. <laughs> and then the birds float buffer. And the two is pretty much the amount number of coordinates for each vertex. Geo text chord pointer size stride. And then Geo 11.geo draw race. Geo 11.geo boards. That's the rendering uh, mode. And then we specify. Sure.